Hello everybody, this is Badger Wild and we are back with another video. Today we're going to be doing a multi-part series where I'm going to be building a small compact ship that anyone can use in vanilla. We're not going to be using any mods. <clears throat> the only ones I'm going to be using are probably going to be mods that affect the HUD. As you can tell here, I've got HUD mods on and I've also got just color coordinated mods so I can see what it is I'm working with without having to do a whole lot. Now, this ship is gonna be fairly small. It's not gonna be a military combat ship. This is gonna be something that you can do small missions in, such as grabbing utilities and bringing them, or grabbing utilities. You can do utility missions where you can go out and do something, take materials to a base you wanna to go to. Um, you'll also have some fairly good defensive capabilities in case you run into drones. <clears throat> and uh, it'll be a ship that you can probably take upgrade and do what you want with. When I'm done, this ship will go up on the Steam Workshop under my Workshop page, and you guys will be able to, you know, take this thing and be able to do something with it. But first off, I want this to be as small and compact a ship as possible, but at the same time, we want it to look sexy, okay? Because if a ship isn't sexy, it's not worth flying. <clears throat> so we're going to go for like a Millennium Falcon kind of look, where it's a very small, very thin, almost saucer-like look to a ship, but fairly elongated. We're going to have storage. We're going to have a place to sleep. We're going to make the inside look as good as possible. And on top of that, we're going to have this thing as feature packed as possible. <clears throat> so without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a hyperdrive. And I want to figure out where I want this hyperdrive to go. All right, so this is where the hyperdrive is going to be. And we're just going to plop one of those in. We're not going to put any uh, power to this yet. And our main driving force for the ship is going to be this uh, single ion thruster. We're not going to use hydrogen because that's going to require a whole lot of piping. Add that there. And there you have it. We have the first part of the engine. This is about as big as it's going to get. We're going to try and keep this ship within about two floors. Or the interior is going to be around two blocks. And the rest of the ship is going to be however else we operate. So the next thing I want to add. Because I want the <clears throat> reactor area to be in the bottom of the ship. I'm going to break out these new warfare reactors. Which are just awesome in my opinion. Now, I want to be able to access these. But I want the storage to be on top. So what we're going to do here, because I do want to access these, and storage, I think, is going to be on top of the ship. Attach one here. One there. Wait a minute. Hmm. There's got to be a better way to achieve this. <laughs> Here we go. We're, we're like five seconds in and we're already screwing things up. Um, yeah, we'll put that there. And we'll put him there. Hmm. That'll give us two... Reactors. Let's see how much power we pull in here. Just to see what our power is doing. Max output. What is the jump drive pulling? Max input is 30 megawatts. 30 megawatts. Current input is 30 megawatts. How much is this? Oh, 15 megawatts. Oh, okay. That's why. We have 30 minutes and we'll be recharged in seven minutes. I don't really like that, but we're going to modify that at some point. <clears throat> so actually, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll reposition these. To where. Oh, I got to freeze. <laughs> Give it a second. Okay, and we'll reposition this to where it looks a little better. We'll just add two of these a piece. 
I can remember how I put them in here. And there we go. <clears throat> That'll be 60 megawatts. And instead of a seven minute charge time, I'm gonna knock it down to a six minute. So it's really going to, really the more of these we add, it's not gonna make much of a difference. <clears throat> it will make a difference when we start adding even more blocks. So hop out of, no, no, let's hop out of here. And then, hmm, we're gonna set in our cargo, which is gonna be some small cargo containers. We're not gonna go crazy with the cargo containers. Uh, let's make sure. One, two, four. I think maybe just six cargo containers are going to be best. Because that gives us plenty of storage. And then we also need a series of batteries down here. So where's our battery? Let's go warfare. <clears throat> because they are much more detailed. So now we have this little area here. <clears throat> yeah, I know I'm, I'm adjusting my voice a little bit. I'm having trouble today. We have this nice little area we can come in, work on everything. We are gonna need that extra power for the primary Atmo thruster or primary ion thruster, which we're probably not gonna be using that too much but there we go now then uh next thing <clears throat> wow come on badger get the phlegm out please let me get a drink here now the ship is already going in the direction i wanted to go uh the fun part is going to be adding all the small stuff to it now we've got power. Let's see what happens because I do want this to be kind of fast. Wonder how what the power consumption just added a deal there. Like I said, this is just going to be a really as small a ship as I can possibly build. Without over complicating things. Okay, that's a lot of power <clears throat> for our main thruster. That's pulling like 70 something percent of the power, and this is still. Actually, we'll have to see what happens when this thing fully charges. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to full charge this because I need to see. These are not going to be permanent. This is just to max out the charge capacity. So we can get this thing charged up real quick. Like I said, I don't want to ship that is too OP. All right, two minutes. We can wait two minutes. Once done, I'll get rid of all this because then I want to see what these thrusters are going to pull. If we got, th well, actually we can see. <clears throat> Let me uh, keep forgetting I can do this. We're going to go in here and we're going to look. A sci-fi thruster requires, hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. So it requires 30 something for a single ion thruster. That's 33, which means without the jump drive engaged and with a proper amount of batteries, I think maybe two more batteries, <clears throat> this thing will easily be able to maintain that one large thruster back there. It'll also, because according to this, I'm probably pulling about 60 
with each one of these small reactors being 15 megawatts a piece. Now, could I put a bigger reactor on here? Yes, I could, I really could. But that's gonna have an effect on the overall look of the ship. And I don't, I don't want that. I don't want a, I don't want a, a look, I don't want the look of the ship to be too marred by what's going on. So we are going to fast charge this. I wanna see what the thrust to power ratio is. I think four reactors will be more than enough for the two large thrusters. Yeah, that'll be enough for those two large thrusters to operate. And I wanna keep this, like I said, as thin and sexy as possible. Now, the other problem is I'm not gonna be able to add too many more drives or too many more engines for this thing. We're gonna to have to add those in later. And I'm gonna add probably primary, there we go. Our, our jump drive is fully charged. And another thing, I wanna keep this thing as light as possible. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, wait. No, no, no. That's not cool. I just realized I didn't take off those other uh, engines there. My bad. There. I don't have that anymore. Okay, so one primary engine is going to take about half of our reactor power just to operate. And we're also going to boost the ship even more with solar panels. So we're gonna add some solar panels to the top of this so that we can charge off the sun as well, thus taking more power off of the reactors. We can turn them off and just charge everything on solar power if we want at some point. So I don't think I want this <clears throat> thruster here. Or as I know, I don't want this thruster here. And I'm gonna want I am gonna to want to come up with a way to set up our thruster system so that I can have ion thrusters pushing forward certain areas. We're gonna try and get the internals done first and then build the ship around it. Because in my opinion, that'll work better. Plus the cockpit is going to be open. So we're not gonna have an internalized cockpit. This is gonna be not a warship. It's gonna be a ship that we're gonna take out and go have some fun with. So we've got our engineering room done which has most of our engineering equipment here ready to go. We have, let me take that off here for a second. We also have our storage facility up here, which I will come up with a very ingenious way of putting all this together. And we still have access to our uh, engine, our primary hyperdrive, which is gonna be accessible from the bottom. So let me find the, there it is, our corridor blocks. And I want that one, this one, this T-junction here. Because there is really no reason to have any other junction but that. <clears throat> now, we'll set these into place. And then I will go down here and set all of that in place. So now we have this uh, notion going on here. You'll be able to come back in here We'll be able to access all of our cargo from in here. And then on top of that, we'll be able to access all of our, all the other materials and stuff from here. And so the entire inside of the ship looks just amazing at this point. We have a nice good looking ship and the internals are looking pretty good. And you can see right here, we can put a thin layer of blocks up on top and use some of this ship to operate with. So, Secondary thing we've got to do, it's going to be even more impressive here. Hmm, am I flying a jet over? Anyway, that's kind of odd. I live right next to a military air force base, but it's been decommissioned. So that's, that's really odd that they're flying right now. So we now have the ability to connect up to here, to these points. I really want to be able to come down into this area here. And I think we're going to add probably another set of batteries here.
Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. I'm at that age where I have to sneeze as loud as possible. Okay, we're going to add two more batteries just for power. And then that's going to give us the ability to come down into this area here and operate. There's a little trick I would love to use to get down here, but <laughs> these corridor blocks here, uh, they make it real difficult to pull this trick off. So we're going to have to come up with a different way of doing that. The turrets on this ship are going to be self-contained. They're not going to be set up with the entire system. So we are going to have eight cargo containers on board, but six of them are going to be purely dedicated to... How do I put this? Six of them are going to be purely dedicated to... Hmm. Wow, my brain just refuses to work right now. Six are going to be devoted purely to cargo, which we're going to be able to access. The other ones are going to have to be manually loaded with ammunition. So, and that's, they're going to be custom built turrets as well as another set of turrets are going to be on the side. We're going to use the small block, the interior turrets as sort of a static defense. Because they're pretty good at tearing up ships. <laughs> Let's see. Now I got to figure out how I'm going to put an access corridor in here for all this. And I have an idea, actually. I actually have a very, very good idea. Where's those ladders at? Okay, we've got this ladder which is all right. We've also got this new ladder chute. Now, the only problem with this ladder chute here is I won't have access to these other two batteries. That's the only problem with this. The other problem with these ladder chutes is <clears throat> a, you can't use them if there's something against that wall almost have to put them in like this in order to drop down and access. And that's going to make the primary profile of our ship kind of large to begin with. I don't really like that. <laughs> like I said, we're trying to keep this thing as minimal as possible. Uh, hmm. Huh. Huh. As the villager says. Okay. We also have these stair blocks. Now the problem with these is those corridors there get in the way of the stair block on the side. We may not be able to do that. We may, <clears throat> we might just be better off doing this. Adding a grate here, which lets us see down into the deal. Uh, might be better off on this number here, because then I can put a light up there. See where the lights are. Nope, nope, nope. That's not the light I want. That's not the light I want. That's the light I want. There we go. Check that out. Now, because I am going to probably jump off here and go around. And I may internalize a few of the thrusters. Which means, uh, for those of you that don't know, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to set up a series of thrusters and just put them internally into the system. Is he coming towards us? No, he's going away. That's the fun part about this game. You don't know if somebody's fixing to come ganky or not. <clears throat> so. Yeah, that gives me that going. And then I can just. 
let's what I do. Okay, I deleted that. Let's add this here. Oh, this is creating a problem. Because I want to put a railing in here. I may still put a railing in here. We're going to have this go around. Grab a couple of these. And this is why I, this is how I operate. This is how I build things. You guys do not have to build anything like I do. Okay, because I'm I'm kind of nuts with my method of building. There, <clears throat> that way things look a little bit interesting. <laughs> Learning how to use these blocks make them make everything look kind of neat, neato. Um, yeah, we've got this going. Now I can pull this here and there. There we go. And we have a pretty cool look going to the ship right now. And it's long, but we are getting where we want to get at this moment. I don't want this video to be too long because it's not a, like a long build, builded ship or anything. Let's go ahead and go to number five here. Put this on the down right there. And then I'm going to need, because this is the bottom, right here at the bottom is where this is going to end. <laughs> oh crap, I do need room for a gyroscope. Forgot about that. Hmm. Hmm. Here's an idea. We need gyroscopes at some point. Actually, I have a different option with the gyroscopes. I'm going to use those to defend uh, the side of the ship somehow. <clears throat> I kind of want these on the outside because gyroscopes have a good ability to stop stuff like nasty things from tearing up your ship so i'm kind of torn here do i want to put them here where i can work on them or do i put them up top on the sides where i can't get to them we'll put them here two should be enough i don't think i'm gonna need more than that and then This is just an odd area <laughs> of the ship right here. This is what this is becoming. Um, hmm. This is the hard part about the way I build. All right, we've got that there. <laughs> this is probably going to come around the side and then go down because I'm going to load up probably a couple of small ion thrusters here and then add another series of thrusters on the side. And then I've also got to add a couple of um hmm, let me think here. I've got to add some Atmo thrusters so that we can fly this thing in Atmo when we want to. Uh, so that's that's gonna be fun trying to figure out. Um uh, hmm. Go to three again. Okay, we cannot do this. Yet. Like seven. There we are. <clears throat> so that's going to help us out right there. Because what I can do now. If I want, I can, let's go here. No, no, why did I push him? I don't want him. I make mistakes, folks. I'm only human. Uh, 
Okay, we got that going. Yes, that'll work. Now I need to go back to my number three point. Okay, I need a one more corridor block. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, frick, I forgot. <sighs> That's annoying. <laughs> that is annoying because I just realized I can't put that there. Ah. <clears throat> All right. Hang on, let's see what I can do here. I can't put that there. That's going to interfere with the one deal. Let's see about this staircase, though. Okay, the one place I can't put it is right there. But that's the best staircase I've got at the moment. So... What I want is the rounded railing. How come now? I can't get the rounded railing. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I thought we had this. So we got railing for there. <laughs> Here's the fun part. This, this is where things just get kind of dumb. Uh, hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm. Dang. Hmm. Let me try something. Okay, so <clears throat> it's a pain in the butt to get this over here. I need more room up in this upper access way. What I can do, I didn't think of this before. Uh, we can do that. Now, the next thing I need, number four, Okay, can't do that. Why not? Okay, I'm probably, oh, probably I'll just need something to attach onto here. So what we'll do is we'll go to number five, which is these. And we'll just add those to the side. Four, can do that. And then we have this nice little area that I can run around and jump into. Then it's just a small task. <laughs> it's just a tiny little task of adding a few corridor blocks here. Just like this. So now... <clears throat> You won't go into this area. You have to come in through here. Ta -da. This is our primary cargo range area. This also opens up another area here in which I could add maybe two more of those. I'd like to add two more of those. Uh, it may be better off for me to 
take this and put it, put the other two on the ground, actually. We'll do that. I don't know what that's going to be like when I walk over it, but... There, so you can now access the cargo, access all this cargo area, and then you have a downward staircase taking you down. And yes, this will work. <laughs> it will take you down to the bottom. Let's just throw on a gravity generator so we can tour our ship. Because this is another thing you need to do while you're operating. You need to, or when you're building a ship out in space. Uh, gravity. All right, number eight. Nope, that's not it. I guess it was number seven. There. Now, the gravity generator... Hop on down here and just take a look at everything. See how we're just walking through here. <laughs> we have the ability to look at all this stuff, check it out. We can look at all our cargo. Also run right off the end. So yeah, that's a good thing. Now, once I put a bottom on this thing, it'll all work out better. And we have the ability to run around and do stuff inside the ship and still get around this corridor here. There's plenty of room for us to get by and I can just walk back here, work on this, throw stuff into the reactors, which is all hooked up to the system and everything will work out just beautifully. Now, next thing I need to install a H2O2 generator and an oxygen tank so that we can oxygenate the ship. So we're going to go to number two here. <clears throat> we got to try and keep things as airtight as possible. Where these blocks are going to come in handy. I'm going to pop this one here. We're going to pop one of these here. You're going to see the, the method to my madness here in a minute. Number nine is our O2H2 generator. And we are going to stick that right here. So we can access it from one side. And then, while I'm at it, I'm also going to have the oxygen tank right over there. Um, let's flip that over so I can see the gauge on it. When I walk through, I'll be able to just look at this and see, oh, hey, you know, we're got it, we're about half full oxygen. So you got all that, and then I'll just wrap that in some metal, and there you go. That's just working out perfectly right now. Check that out. That's amazing. So now this is the primary storage and engineering area of the ship. Pretty much done. <laughs> For those that are wondering, we're pretty much done with engineering. Um, I will have to add some downward thrusters, some Atmo thrusters to help this thing fly better. And we are going to have to add maybe a few more regular thrusters, some ion thrusters, just to make this thing work good. Uh, <clears throat> as far as atmospheric thrusters go, I think we're just going to try and fly this thing via VTOL. Uh, kind of try and VTOL it a little bit, or you're going to have to tilt it in order to fly it and get it onto positions. Of course, that may be a little too much. I may just add, I don't know, I may just add some kind of internalized thruster system to make things a lot easier somehow. But, continuing on, I need a corridor block here. Actually, yes. I can put a corridor block here. I just realized that. Love these corridor blocks because this gives you the ability to have something that you can lock down to an extent. Ta da! Look at that. So now we've locked this down. I can access, I can have two more 
gyros on this side here. So we got four batteries. We've got, what is it? We've got four megawatts worth of power storage. No, more than that, actually. I think we got six. Is it six? No? Well, we have 12 megawatts worth of power, several megawatts worth of power building. We also have uh, this thing up top. We have our hyperdrive here, which we can hop into and drive it at any point in time. And this thing can jump. We just got to figure out a, a creative way to put in our... How do I put this? We got to come up with a creative way to put in the... gravity and then i've got to come up with a creative way to put in there, there are several more functions i've got to add to this ship we need an antenna that'll be difficult to put in um <clears throat> but right now we have just extended our reach here with this and then i need to add a i want to, what i want to do is i want to come in and come around here to the side and then drop down with these so that I can produce a corridor area of the ship that should be able to use as an airlock system. Maybe that'd be a good idea. Uh, hmm. <laughs> can we do it? <laughs> can we build this airlock system? Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think I know how I could do it. I just need this. The only thing I, I really worry about these armor block. Oh, whoops. Oh, that was the wrong one. And yeah, I know I could use the mirror function for those in the comments. The problem with the mirror function. Oh, that's that's just fair. See, this is the thing I hate about these blocks. One side of them Ah, God, that's annoying. <laughs> that is so annoying. Okay, I'm going to put it like this. Trying to airlock everything in. That should do it. Now, the plan here is to create a type of airlock, so to speak. Well, it's getting time anyway. So <laughs> we're going to leave it at that. The plan here is to turn this area here into sort of a improvised airlock. So this is where we're going to hook up the ship. This is going to supply all the fuel, all the oxygen, all the nuclear power to the ship. And once that is done, then I can extend out here and build the living quarters area of the ship, which is only going to take the upper part of it. And then we can start adding weapons and some other cool stuff and coming up with some ingenious ways of putting guns on this. Anyway, folks, <clears throat> hope you guys enjoyed watching this with me here and enjoyed this little ship build. Hope you guys learned some stuff about ship building. And as always, my name is Badger Wild. Stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys next time. I'm signing out.